Welcome back to our Halloween countdown, Samhain countdown, getting the down to the last days before October 31st and having a hopefully wonderful Halloween season. Today we are going to talk about turnips, <laughs> carving turnips. Super fun, super easy. It's very much like carving a pumpkin, but smaller. I like doing turnips with little kids because they're it's a little easy for them to kind of put their hands on. It's a little harder with the fine motor skills that you need, but it's easier for them in the long run in terms of connecting to what they're doing. So, because it doesn't take as long as pumpkins either. So the first thing you do when you are carving a turnip is you core out the back. Now, this is different from a pumpkin. Pumpkin has pumpkin has seeds that you can core out and you know you pull the seeds in the you don't have to do a whole lot of scooping when you're making um, when you're making a pumpkin. When you're actually doing a turnip, you have it's there's no seeds, it's all root vegetables, so you just have to core and core and core. And I, I usually start out once I cut the back off, like cut the back off. Then I use a fork first to get most of the vegetable root out and then use a spoon to smooth it out. So it takes about 10 minutes to core the to core the turnip. And then you can give it to your kid or to yourself and draw a face on it. Um, when my daughter was little, we would make fun of doing the turnips because we would in, intentionally invoke ancestors in trying to make the turnip faces. As this, as the, you get closer to Samhain, this is going to shrivel a little bit. And so the face is going to kind of come together and look kind of even more creepy. And the, so what we used to do is we'd say, okay, who are we making? Right. And we're like, oh, I'm going to make Grammy. Oh, I'm going to make Mr. Fred. Oh, I'm going to do, you know, so there was always a way of, um, of engaging the idea of actual people who had been in our lives in the process. And the reason that's important is because part of what you're doing um, with Samhain, with Halloween, is you're honoring the ancestors. The whole point of the holiday is to honor from where you've come. It's not to, it's not just to dress up and have a good time. It's also to honor the fact that you are standing here in a long line of ancestors who've come before you, who've guided you, who've made things possible for you. And it also honors the fact that you yourself are an ancestor. So don't treat it like it's only some sweet, frivolous thing to do. Also honor the fact that you are honoring your ancestors in a fun way and honoring yourself as an ancestor moving forward. So turn up. First thing to do, core out the back. The reason the back and not the top, though you can do the top, you can put these on your table or something and then they're fine. Um, but traditionally what what was done was a, you poked a needle through the top with a string. So you have a string holding this up like this and the um, turnip would be held from a string on, um, on a stick and then people walk around town having fun with the turnip and causing all kinds of mayhem. So carve out the back. We use these little electric lights because they're better for the environment. Living in California, that's pretty important. You can see they kind of look like they flicker a little bit. Put in the back of the turnip. Put the back on the, put the, back on the turnip. And if you're going to go walk around with sticks and strings, you might want to glue that on so it doesn't come out. And then you have a nice glowing turnip for your Samhain celebrations. Um, have a good time with that. Enjoy. If you need some instructions, we're going to post them on Witch Daily. But also just know that part of the whole idea of having a really beautiful Samhain practice of any kind is to honor the fact that you yourself are an ancestor and your children are ancestors. In our tradition, in, in any kind of witchcraft tradition or pagan tradition, the whole idea is that the world isn't going to end. Like there's this popular idea out there that, you know, Armageddon's coming and, you know, the world's going to end one day. And pagans don't believe that. Wiccans in particular, witches in particular, don't really ascribe to that. We think that life continues no matter what. And so we are part of a long chain of people and animals and influences that are going to continue and make the world. So as you move forward, remember, you are making the world as you go. That's the whole point of magic. Have fun with it. <laughs> Honor your ancestors, honor your children, honor the fact that we are all going in a good way and to a good place, right? We are creating a new world every single day with everything we do, including the magical practices that we engage in. So have a great time. Enjoy this series. And if you have any questions, you can always write to us on Witch Daily at info at witchdaily.com or marianne at witchdaily.com. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.